Okay, team, here's what's been happening on Ghost Rider. The facts. First, Tina is working for Lana Barnes, a famous movie star. She's the first female action hero in movie history. It's Tina's job to answer all of Lana's fan mail. And Lana's been getting a ton of fan mail lately because in a few days she's getting a big award for her movies. But the team is scared that someone is out to get Lana because a lot of creepy stuff has been happening. Like Lana received some pretty weird letters that use the names of some of her movies to make threats. And someone keeps Hello? calling Lana's house and hanging up when Tina answers. Now, here are some new facts from the last show. First... Lana, is that you? Someone locked Lana in her garage. Then... I went out to get the mail, and some absolute angel had left this box of flowers on the doorstep for me. But whoever left the box wasn't an angel. Inside was one live rose and one dead rose. How bizarre. And there was a threatening note with them. So, the team is making a casebook to keep track of the suspects. Lana was born in 1925, and she had four husbands. All of Lana's husbands are suspects. But the team did some reading and found out that one of her husbands is dead. Mr. Stylus fell out of his canoe while on a safari. He was dragged to the river bottom and eaten by a hungry alligator. Gross! And another one is in jail, so he's no threat. Husband number three, Carlo Peretti, is still good friends with Lana, so he wouldn't hurt her either. That leaves Alan Charles, Lana's first husband. Boy, does he have a good reason to be mad. He made her star, and she dumped him. And there's Lana's daughter, Janine Peretti. She always felt her mother was too busy to pay attention to her. She's holding a grudge. That makes her a suspect, too. Can the team figure out who the unfriendly fan is before the award ceremony? Or is it curtains for Lana Barnes? Get a pencil in your casebook out and keep track of the clues, because the Ghost Rider team is on the case. Janine Freddy's a major suspect. We have to find out if she's in New York. And if she's trying to kill Lana. It's just the doorbell. It must be Lenny. Jamal! Surprise! We got him back. Grandma Cece's feeling a lot better. Yeah. The doctor said that she's gonna be fine. So, I guess you guys are stuck with me now. <laughs> You're just in time. We think Lana's daughter's trying to kill her. Daughter? I didn't even know Lana Barnes was married. Four times. But anyway, listen to this. Soon, the rightful heir will take her place. Rob and I found out that Janine Peretti is Lana and Carla's daughter. She's the rightful heir because she gets all of Lana's stuff if she dies. And Janine's been mad for years because Lana never had any time for her when she was busy making movies. These flowers came with the letter. One beautiful rose. And one dead rose. Did you ask the flower shop if Janine sent these? We didn't know a flower shop it came from. April flowers. Hey, that's near the Stanmore Hotel. Let's go check it out. Ghost Rider team is on the case. Mm, I love this job. <laughs> Come on. been in a stampede since I started in Cowgirls of Courage Gulch. <laughs> hey, Jamal. He's one of our best detectives. Oh, glad you're on the case, Ace. <laughs> so where are you guys going in such a hurry? We're on the way to the flower shop near the Steadmore to find out who's trying to kill Lana. Abby! Well, I certainly hope you get them before they get me. Yeah, you know, most of the out-of-town guests for my award ceremony are staying at the Sedmore Hotel. Maybe we can get a copy of the guest list. Yeah. Good idea. Like that. What a snob head. 
Excuse me, sir. We were wondering if you could help us. I'm a desk clerk, not a magician. We'd like to see a list of all the people who are here to attend the Lana Barnes award ceremony. Is that all? Yes. Can we see it? No. Only the legendary Lana Barnes herself can request that information. Well, we we're friends of Lana Barnes. Isn't everyone? He has no right to treat us like that. I have a plan. Let's call Tina and get her to ask Lana to call the hotel and make him give us the lists. Good idea. Can't wait to see the look on his face when he sees we are telling the truth. <laughs> Hasta la vista, Krabby. Peace, love, light, groovy people. Welcome to April Flower. I'm April. How may I help you? Uh, yes. Our friend Lana Barnes received a delivery from you. Oh, yes. One live rose and one dead rose. Wow. I remember it like it happened today. It did happen today. You're right. Wow, man. You picked up on the vibes, too, huh? I've been trying to get rid of those vibes since the order came in. Shoe vibes don't bother me. Shoe vibes. Oh, uh, ma'am? Yes? Who placed the order? Oh, uh, a young man. Here's the receipt. Um, there's no name. He paid cash, but here's the paper he wrote the address on. Can I hold on to this? Well, normally, no, but you seem to have a positive aura around you. Almost a ghostly presence. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Gabby, we should be getting back to my house. Uh, thanks, Miss Flowers. Oh, just April, man. One name, one love, one world. Peace. Tell Lana that he was mean to us and he made fun of us. Okay, okay. Hey, Tina. Yeah, it's Rob. Excuse me, aren't you Stone Harrison? The Stone Harrison that starred in Wings of Glory with Lana Barnes? The one and only. <laughs> May I have your autograph, please? Why, certainly. And uh, who might you be, my dear young lady? Lenny, with an eye. To Lenny, with an eye. I hope this gives you as much pleasure as you've given me. There you go. To Lenny, with my deep gratitude, always Stone Harrison. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, bye. Tina's asking Lana to call the desk clerk. Who's that guy? Stone Harrison. I just got his autograph. Wow, let me see. Stone is angry with Lana, too. Ghostwriter must have read something about Stone Harrison. We better tell Tina to check this out. Let's check on that guest list first. Look at this paper that Lana Barnes' address is written on. It's Steadmore Hotel stationery. So whoever sent the flowers must be staying at the hotel. Right. Hey, look at this. Ghostwriter! But where did he get those letters from? And what does that mean? I had a feeling about this. What's up, Gav? They do this in spy stories all the time. Someone must have written these words on a piece of paper that was on top of this one. Ghostwriter was reading the marks left by the pressure of the pen. Taurus Copper Bob. Incredible. The Gavster does it again. 